If we want this button to actually do anything, in our case, affect the model, we have to give this button some type of click handler so that we know when we click on it, very similar to regular HTML or reactive programming. So what we're gonna do is import the onClick under HTML events exposing onClick. OnClick is expecting a first parameter, some type of message. So message here. Well, what's a message? A message is, yo, anything I can do in my program that would affect the model, such as add, subtract, add some text, change my name, make a request to the server, blah, blah, blah. Messages can be anything. Let's go ahead and create one above the model. And the reason we do it here is because most of the time messages will affect the model. So it's nice to have them like right next to each other. So I'm gonna call it type messages. And we're only gonna have one now, so we'll call it add. But you could do a bunch here. You could do other and check in. I don't know how to spell it, Jesse. So that's three messages, three different types you can use. We're just gonna use add for now. And so you don't have to type messages.add. You can literally just type adds. When you have this type thing equals, you can start accessing these all over your program. It's kind of like constants or variables that have an uppercase. So we change message here to add. We now have a button that we click on it, it calls add. But watch what happens when we try to recompile it. This big gigantic compilation error is mad that the update method doesn't really show what's really going on. It's complaining about the view, but that's not really true. What it's really mad about is that the HTML messages is sending a message that isn't handled by update. Update is actually getting a model and returning it. But what's really happening is that when you send a message, update's supposed to get a message and a model and then return what it's supposed to do. So if we change the method signature to a true reduce function, right? What is your current value? And then what is the current item I'm dealing with? Send me back the reduced version of it. Now it'll pre-compile. So cool, we're dealing with a message, but we notice how we just kind of ignore it. <laughs> we don't actually use it. So we've got a message, but now we have to process it. So we can change this to a case statement, which is very similar to a switch statement in any other programming language like JavaScript, Python, etc. Say case message of, and all the types of messages you can cycle through. For us, we just have one. So if you think of this as like case value and this is the switch statement, that's kind of the format of it. Your job is to return a new model. So for now, we're gonna return just the model just to get it to compile. And so every time we click it, it's firing this message off and then sending the model over there. 